What's up guys? Welcome to my 2023 MacFed loadout. Please check this video's description to find the links to all my gear. Use the comment section to leave all your questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. First, let's start with the mask. I use the Carbon Zero SLD Coal. This is a new mask that I haven't tried yet. I do like the way it looks. I do like the lens. It's super easy to change the lens, by the way, guys. It's super breathable. Review will come in the next couple of weeks. My headband and my head wrap are both made by Primer. This is a local company here in Canada. They're good products and I highly recommend them. For my top, I wear the Condor Short Sleeve Combat Shirt in OD. It's great for hot weather days, it's anti-static, mesh underarm panels to increase ventilation. I went with a short sleeve so it'll be easier for me to wear my elbow pads. My mag tags are made by Linux Tactical Gear. These are very helpful to not lose your mags in the field. Made with durable ESA polymer, please visit Linux Tactical Gear for more custom-made EMF-100 products. My chest rig is the Haley Strategic D3CR Heavy in Razor Green. I've had this chest rig for over four seasons now. It's lightweight, low profile. It's compatible with many Haley Strategic accessories. Includes two multi-purpose pouches and two pistol pouches. An all-around great chest rig. This is my favorite accessory for my D3CR chest rig. This is the Flatpak 2.0, a great product that allows me to carry extra magazines, a water bladder, an air tank, but it also adds a lot of stability and comfort for my chest rig. The Haley Strategic Multi-Mission Hangar V2 pouch is great for storing smoke grenades, microfiber cloth, and even an extra CF20 mag. No surprise here, Mechanics gloves are the best when it comes to fit, protection, quality, and price. I've used them for over 8 years now, and for me, they are the best option. My tactical belt was purchased from Amazon. This is the Jukemo tactical belt, or I'm not sure if it's Yukmo. Comes with a heavy duty quick release buckle. You can buy it in seven different colors and different sizes. This is the best value for your buck. It cost me $23 Canadian. It's a cheap price, but not cheap quality. Another product from Amazon. This is the Excellent Elite Spanker Tactical Open Top Magazine Single. Comes in many different colors. It really fits the CF20 like it was designed for it. Uh, made out of high quality and durable nylon. And it's only $23 Canadian. The high speed gear magnet dump pouch V2 is a great upgrade from my Condor dump pouch. It allows full visibility of the pouch contents and provides drainage of water and sand. The V2 pouch is light, but it is constructed with laminated heavy duty nylon and heavy duty 10 ounce mesh. I gotta say that my Cry Precision G3 combat pants are my favorite thing about my loadout. I bought these four years ago and they still look brand new. Here's some of the features of my G3 combat pants. Unique padded waistband and high mobility stretch panels at the knee and lower back. It's got 10 pockets. Each cargo pocket conceals water bottle, magazine stabilizers, built-in knee pads. The base fabric is Milspec 5050 Nyko ripstop. Those pants are made in the US from US materials. The Salmon Quest 4 D3 GTX are one of my favorite boots. These boots are waterproof, comfortable, lightweight, and provide great ankle stability. They will last for many years. The only negative thing about them is your feet will feel a little bit hot in the summer. Other than that, I think they're the perfect shoes for paintball. 
Thank you guys for watching my loadout video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the front lines. Left Farmer out.